Geppetto. Geppetto? It's gonna, really, it's gonna be really fucking random. Yeah. Okay, how do you spell it? Son of a bitch, you asked me a question I don't know the answer to. <laughs> Fuck. You want us to be named after Pinocchio's dad? Shh, shh. Oh, sorry. Oh, cause she's a doll. Uh, it is G E P P E T T. <laughs> oh. Better. T T. T Z. It's better. Okay. Yes. First name. Rinks. I don't know. Uh. See. I need to let my cereal get soggy for a minute so I'm not crunching all over the microphone. What kind of uh, cereal do you eat? Golden Grahams. Of course. What do you mean of course? They got like seven cereals up there to pick from. How are you supposed to know what I'm supposed to pick? Because I know that you like Golden Grahams. And I like Honeycombs and Lucky Chimes and Cocoa Puffs and... Rice Krispies and Frosty Flicks and Captain Crunch. I like them all. I'm <laughs> kidding, I don't like them all. But I like a lot. So for, I feel like our first name should be something Japanese. Oh. Well, then that we have something Japanese and then Japano. Good. So it has to be something. What kind of name is Japano? Um. I have some, uh, I, I've, I've pulled up most, most popular, uh, Japanese boy names. <coughs> what do we got? We have Haruto, Riku, <gasps> Haru. Should have done Hakusho. Hakusho, that's too much. Or Yusuke. Yusuke. Uh, Haru, Hinata, uh, Kaito. Oh, Hinata. Hinata. Mm-hmm. I always thought it was a girl name. Hinata. Well, too bad. Hinata Geppetto. The only reason I thought it was a girl name is because of Naruto, but... Ever since then, I've seen... Is that how you spell it? We moved to America. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's Hinata Geppetto, okay. Cannot be changed after this. That's fine. Whoa! He got some girly eyes. Fix him. I don't think you get to change that. I think it's just this. I don't like the beard. It makes him more girly. It's really weird. The the beard makes him more girly. Yeah, cause I'll, I don't know. They yeah. they didn't they they makes him a girl. He so really glasses are now. Maybe it's the glasses that make them look girly. I don't know. So no glasses? None. Is this okay? You can't put glasses on later. Uh, I got my glasses on. We're fine. <laughs> I'm Hinata Geppetto. <laughs> I'm just <story> going <laughs> This is you. Sorry. <laughs> no spit milk everywhere. Mm hmm Understood, Lord Geppetto. That's so funny. Now I should explain to you about the mark. If she gives me a long paragraph to read this. It's going to be a lot. 
It is the seal of death. Those who have it will die soon. Do you not believe me? You're dyslexic. Oh. You do not believe me. You did that to the last sentence too. Did I? Mm -hmm. I can't help it. No, I, I, I did the same thing. I'm dyslexic as fuck. I am certain this sounds absurd to one who has led a lot. An uneventful life. How fucking dare you assume that I've had an uneventful life? <laughs> Can you stop shoveling oh. the the post in the Kellogg's <laughs> down your throat for one minute? I was coughing. Leave it alone. Jesus. However, my master's death proves to be irrefutably true. Sorry, I had to take a minute to read that one. It's okay. Big words get me. Oh, now it's a sweet cinch. But earlier, it was like an unpleasant one. He said it was like sweet, but it was like tainted with something unpleasant. The corpse's sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. Well, of course. Why do flowers grow out of humans? I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. They face death all, all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. This sounds like amnesia. Memory loss? That can't be. That mean that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have got, forgotten your name proves the death is coming. Lord Chipetto, you... Our bitch. Damn. I'm just kidding. We'll die at the very dawn. Mm, the people whispers all in my ear. My memories skip forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know. How come Mary knows all this? I don't know. I'm lying in a guest room in the mansion. I vaguely doesn't. recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that, I feel a lot better. I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say. It feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Way out of the blue. But if that's but if it's true. Is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? Well we only have a couple hours to <clears throat> It might be a good idea to ask Mary more about it. Might want to shovel more cereal in my mouth. Just shovel it down there. Just right down there. Go it. Just like jerk your head back and forth like a pelican. Just get it all down. <laughs> I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. She's a doll. Who put me upstairs? You just said you slightly remember walking up the stairs. Oh. I doubt oh a dog gets bored. Shut up. I doubt a dog gets bored waiting like humans do. Well, why would you assume that? Huh? I said, why would he assume that? You would you just assume dolls don't get bored? She could be playing pinochle in her head. Oh, what happened? This is you, Miss Shovel. Gameplay recording resumed. What happened? The share play lost connection. Fuck! One moment, people. Let's start it up again. Oh, I can't start share play. You have to start share play. Yeah. Crazy how that works. Oh no. What? I hit the back. I hit the back button. <laughs> Chris wants the share play. Fuck him. <laughs> Just click on the wrong thing and leave the party. Well. Mm -hmm. That was an accident. <laughs> uh huh, but she's still be out. I mean, I'm stuck.
I'm you. The heck is on my hand? And we're back. Good morning, Lord Geppetto. Are you feeling better now? Is you. Because you are the character. Sort of. Wonderful. Well, she didn't say that with an excited voice, but I did. <laughs> Since it appears that you have calmed down, I would like to ask you a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. One of death. <laughs> First is to wait for death. The second one is to fight the mark. Can you help me? I only sit here. If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. <coughs> a few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Shut up! Shut, up. Shut, up. Shut the fuck up! I know, my going to... Jesus Christ! This is lotion over your chest. This is breaking all the fucking ambience. This is getting good! Hold on, let me silence like everything. Come on. It sounds like a it tongue all. twister. With that, you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. With that, you would. See, see, who says that? What will you do? Shove cereal down my throat. I want to die. I guess it boils down to whether I trust her. If she's right about all this, my time on Earth is up at dawn. If I don't want to die, then there's no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine with I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really all right with that? People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? This is a life or death. C oh God! Where did this audio just come from? I know. This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it carefully. <laughs> Deadly choice. You will be faced with choices that can result in death. There is a there's limited time and your soul power will continue to drain. Time's up or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick, but also careful in finding the right answer. I'm not good at Restoring <laughs> Soul Power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up while pressing the L1 button, but certain dialogue cannot be sped up. Backlog. The options button will display previous dialogue. Auto mode. The R1 button will activate auto mode. Thanks for that, I guess. Hiding the dialogue window. You can hide the dialogue window by pressing the triangle. Then shall I ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Oh, uh, uh, obviously, uh, fight the mark is the right choice. Look, it's like timed. Yeah, safe. I can carry stuff. Survived. Oh, we survived. Yeah, I'm good at this game. decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Geppetto. 
Then I should tell the Dragon Wish to my master and aid you. <laughs> I cannot do much, but it, feel free to request anything you wish of me. God, this game is fucking jamming! So loud. I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. Excuse me a minute while I go squish a dog. Sure. I'm barking. I'm gonna see if I can turn the audio down. Well, you hush. People don't want to hear you barking in the background. Quiet. Beep, beep. I thought I, like, did, but... Hold on. Can, can you turn yourself up a little bit? Me? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Pouring my milk down the drain. Pouring my milk? Why? Shut your mouth, Chris. What? Shush it. Shush it off. Pouring some milk. Down the drain. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Beep beep. I'm gonna run you over. If you don't hush, I'll squish you. And you don't hush, I'll throw you too. Okay, he eats animals. Well, I was talking about my phone that just went off. Oh. Okay, I'm all the way up. Is this better? Anybody? Yeah. Anything better? Yeah, it's better. It's because I'm eating the microphone right now. Shut up, phone! Please. I know squat about the, I know squat about the supernatural. It lives in my memory and makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. A knock comes from the front door. Who would come here this late at night? Us. You. Oh my, what a sign of fate. It seems that the other mark bearers have arrived. Is this an escape room? I don't know. Is it instinct? There's a movie I think we should watch. I don't know how weird it is. I've never seen it. Now this you, is you now still. You're, now you're just like breathing in my soul. <laughs> Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power. Being a talking doll. You always told me I was really breathy. Sure. I beg your pardon, Lord Geppetto. I do apologize, but could you go greet our guest in my stead? They may experience the shock of a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Then how do you greet them? <laughs> I'm. Uh can you go greet them in my stead? Because I'm unable to walk. That makes more sense. You don't have to give a whole explanation. I moved to the front door to greet our guest. People fated to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. Who I find at the door are not who I'd expect to see out this late at night. <coughs> Look at her eyes. Look at her eyes, Chris. Yeah, they're very, They're gonna very, haunt you. It's already haunting me. She's looking at my soul. A high schooler. She looks like she's just there. She's not like a mark bearer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hello, I'm sightseeing. And a small boy. These kids have the mark? No way. Is this her? I guess it's her. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Um, you came to see Professor Cujo? Who are you? I am Professor Kujo. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just take... it's, it just puts on the stockings. I can't say that... Wait, I can't say I'm a total stranger since I am here in the mansion. I'm... Ooh, That's just probably going to ask you lots of questions. That's just if you put this... If you put Disciple, she's probably going to ask you a lot of questions as to, uh... What the mark means The mark and stuff. Yeah. But you don't even know the answer. No. I'm going to say a relative. 
Oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. I told you he was feminine. Oh, actually, wait. We may we may not know. We might actually be her brother. Cause it's not like we're like we are lying, but we don't know that we're not related to her. So we could be. Your eyes do look kind of similar. You were saying how it looks like he has feminine eyes. Crack of the case. My grandpa's yelling at a cat. <laughs> she seems to know Sai Kujo. Now that I think about it, that business card did say spirit healing. <clears throat> Going off this girl's uh, accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. I'm Moe Watanabe. I'm here to talk I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in Oop Arts Monthly. She pulls out an occult magazine. She pulls out. Wait, stop. She pulls an occult magazine out of her bag. It's proper English. That's just what happens. You just. It's hard. English is hard. Inside is a picture of the mark. The accompanying article says the scar is. A soul. Wait, it's just hard to switch voices. A soul inhibiting disease that erases memories. Inquire at Cujo Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? Moy lifts, Moy lifts her skirt up a bit to show me her leg. It's fucking easy. Right there on her right thigh is the mark. I think I know. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friends' names. That's never happened to me before. Do you think the scar is doing it? The article is. Uh, this should be you. Oh, I'm the little boy. Just because earlier I said over the microphone I saw like a little boy. Mm. That article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. And the high schooler fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. But, Sukasa. Sukasa. Were you? Mikasa, Sukasa. Right. <laughs> <laughs> were, you hanging, were you hanging out in the front of the mansion's gate? Fess up. Your scar, your scar scares you. Sukasa seems to have no retort to that. He like he slightly sulks. Silently sulks. Oh, sorry. Looks like a bullseye. It's clear that most bark. That it, it's clear that most mark bears. Bark mirrors. Bark 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 mirrors. <laughs> That's what I always do. I always search like the first two letters of like mm-hmm. certain words. I better bring them. I better bring him over to meet Mary. Yeah, let's go meet the talking doll. Moya shrieks. Excitedly when she no, gets close. No. It's it's like whenever the music starts, it's not that bad. And then it hits this one fucking tone where it's just like in my ear. I don't think but I don't <laughs> think that's translating to like I don't know what's happening. I think it might be like my mic is I don't know. Your mo. I, this is what I expected. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen this one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her win. Welcome to Kujo Mansion. What? It, it spoke! With that, 
The two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous world that hovers on the, pre the precipice of death. Mary tells, wait, Mary tells Moe and Sukasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about steady memory loss and their imminent death. It sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Hmm. Who is this? I'm going to go with it's me. Now, it's... if you came specifically here because you believe Lady Saya's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. Boy admitted it is much earlier, but I can see Sukasa's face darken. So it must be happening to him too. Hey Moi, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to be worse than theirs. So they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think I, I think my mark might be a curse from Hana. Give me a minute, Hana Higo, Hana Higo, Hana Higo. This name is familiar. Oh, sorry, it's you. This name is familiar to me. He's the ghost. He is the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. She said that he had a rock and six pack. <laughs> so Sai Kujo, yeah. So Sai Kujo was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. I'd like to hear more about this ghost. As you wish, Lord Geppetto. Do I have to read a long script? Mm. Mm. You just missed that part. Then I shall tell you the rumors of Hanahiko. Chapter right, 1, yes? Hanahiko. Well, it went really fast, too. Yeah. You would have us don't try to read fast. You should come out and flex it. What's this? What? Oh, I, it's you. It's you. It's you, because you're narrator. Oh, I'm narrator? Yeah. Because well, you, you're I, hurt. You're hurt. Mm. She's telling the story. They seem like a story these two little boys talk about. Um, I can't remember what the first thing it said. Me either. Oh, wait, wait, ghost. wait a minute. I can go back? <laughs> right here. Oh, did you hear? Do you want to get out of that? Oh, sorry. That's the one that first is that. Oh, did you hear about the ghost boy all the schools in H City are talking about? Sounds like Hanahiko is back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess that up. I'm gonna mess it up. It's fine. I heard that he can appear. He can't appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. He'll ask you something. What is your name? Am I pretty? If you tell him no, he'll be fine. But if you say yes, he'll choke you out. Give me that red stuff. Then. Mm. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know? I heard that if a person he asks is an adult, they'll die. Whether it's yes or no, right? I, I'm, I'm assuming so, because he just hates adults. Okay. And not just drop dead. Their blood is strained from them. Blood! Blood! God, I'm going to choke, choke out this dog. And next to the corpse is a single rose. <laughs> 
It's Team Rocket. I'm stripping with blood. Blasting off again. <laughs> Rumors can be easily manipulated. Passing from one person to another, assumptions and errors mix in. But they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Mo, do you... <laughs> Is it Mo or Moy? It's Moy. Moy? Miss Moy, do you know anything else? I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanihiko at H Elementary School. That's due for being in the cult. Yeah, fair enough. This has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Uh, why were you at H Elementary? My big dream is to write about, or is to write about the occult. So I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. I figured that place. Oh, that place, but it's not a word, but fine. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school. Since it's been closed down. What should I ask next? Was Hanahiko there? I don't think so. But I can't really say for sure. When I went to the mirror... But a shiver suddenly ran down my spine. I got spooked and left. What should I ask next? When did you the notice the mark? Left. I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kujo wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost. But there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. This is you, little boy. Then maybe... Sukasa glances down at his left hand. Little boy. <laughs> Mine might be from Hanahiko, too. I noticed it after I got home from T Elementary. That ghost was seen a lot... Was seen a lot of schools in H-City, right? Maybe he's remembering... Maybe he's remembered something. I better ask him some questions, too. Oh, great. T okay. Elementary? <laughs> I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top-ranked elementary in H-City. Pulls out his fucking trophies. What should I ask next? When was that? Maybe around sunset? I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. What should I ask next? Did you see Hanahiko? No, and I didn't get chills or anything either. You know, because I'm not a pussy. He just like fucking glares at her. <laughs> oh, but I think I passed a mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. Their stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors. It can't just be a coincidence. You must investigate the player. <laughs> Sorry. You must investigate the places where Hanhiko appeared. I'm like mixing my voices up, even though they're not really distinct. For their sake, you might, as well as yours. Uh, that's all well and good, but what exactly am I investigating? 
death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seems Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you invest? Where, yeah, where will you investigate? Alright, where are we going first? H Elementary, because that's where the bitch started. Alright. And his name's Hanahiko, so we're going to stop with H. Well, guys, we'll catch you guys in the next episode. I'm actually uh, pretty interested in this story. Usually, these things kind of like bore me, and I'm just like, get to the text, get to the text. But like, I'm actually, I'm actually liking this a lot. So, let us know how you guys are liking it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.